Irish ticket and keep it. I'm not paying that ticket. Do stop that Jesus! Jesus! Would you watch where you're going? Then I want you to go downstairs to the cellar and check the water lines of the boiler, check the bubble. All right, I want to do that today, all right? Could you do that? Greg, do you mind giving me a hand with this? Hey, I ain't the doorman, Mr. Barrett. I'm the building superintendent. You're also a human being. OK, it's not my job, but what the hell? I'll do your favor. Listen, when are you going to get around to fixing the radiator in the baby's room? You know, I asked you last week. Then my daughter. It's getting really cold in there. I, 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 I. OK, well, it's no problem. Said you guys are full of crap. Jason, well, gosh. some people have trouble believing in the paranormal. No, he just says you guys are full of crap, and that's why you went out of business. Song. Share. Look, I'm tired of taking abuse from overprivileged nine-year-olds. I know, Z, but we can't quit now. The holidays are coming up. It's our best season. Ray, man, face it, Ghostbusters doesn't exist. You're from now, those kids won't even remember who we are. Ungrateful little yuppie larva. After all we did for this city. Yeah. We conjured up a hundred-foot marshmallow man through the top three floors off a uptown high-rise ended up getting sued by every state, county, and city agency in New York. Yeah, but what a ride. Went right out into the middle of traffic, and I started really running after it. And then it just suddenly stop right in the middle of the street. Mm -hmm. And did anyone else see this happen? Well, sure, hundreds of people. Econ, I didn't imagine this. I'm not saying you did. It's just in science, we always look for the simplest explanation. We're ready, Dr. Spangler. Good. We'll start with the negative calibration. What are you working on, Egon? I'm trying to determine whether human emotions actually affect the physical environment. 
It's a theory Ray and I had when we were still Ghostbusters. Can they see us? No. They think they're here for marriage counseling. We kept them waiting for two and a half hours, and I've been gradually increasing the temperature in the room. It's up to 95 degrees at the moment. Now my assistant is asking them if they'd mind waiting another half hour. Oh, good. Very good. Very, very nice. So, Egon, what do you think? Excellent. Just excellent. We'll do the happiness index next. I mean, about the carriage. Well, I'd like to bring Ray in on this, if you don't mind. Sure, whatever you think. But not Venkman. Oh, no. Do you ever see him? Occasionally. How is he these days? Peter? Well, he was borderline for a while. Then he crossed the border. Does he ever mention me? No. Oh. Well, we, we didn't part on very good terms, and then we sort of lost track of each other uh, after I got married. We're ready for the affection test. Good. Send in the puppy, please. I thought of getting in touch with him after my marriage ended, but... Oh. Isn't that sweet? I appreciate your doing this. Try not to worry. Here's my phone number. You'll call me? Yes. I'd rather you didn't mention any of this to Peter, if you don't mind. No, I won't. I won't. Thanks. Let's see what happens when we take away the puppy. This GI in the living room, I think. That's my mom. They want to wash their hair with her. My father encouraged them. Hi, welcome back to World of the Psychic. I'm Peter Venkman. I'm chatting with my guest, Author, lecturer, and psychic, Milton Angland. Milt, your new book is called The End of the World. Now, can you tell us when it's going to be, or do we have to buy the book? Well, I predict that the world will end at the stroke of midnight on New Year's Eve. This year? Mm-hmm. Well, that's cutting it a little bit close, isn't it? I mean, just from a sales point of view, I mean, your book is just coming out. You're not going to see any paperback sales for at least a year. It'll be at least another year before you know whether you've got that miniseries or movie of the week kind of possibilities. I mean, just devil's advocate, Milty. I mean, shouldn't you have said, hey, the world's going to end wait, in 1992 wait a minute. or better hey, yet, this, 1994? This is not just some money-making scheme, all right? I have a strong psychic belief that the world will end uh, on New Year's Eve. <sighs> well, for your sake, I hope you're right. <laughs> yeah. OK, but I think my other guest may disagree with you. Elaine, now you had another date in mind. According to my source, the end of the world will be on February 14th in the year 2016. Valentine's Day. Bummer. Where'd you get your date, Elaine? I received this information from an alien. As I told my husband, it was in the Paramus Holiday Inn. I was having a drink at the bar, alone, and this alien approached me. He started talking to me. He bought me a drink, and then I think he must have used some kind of a ray or a mind control device because he forced me to follow him to his room. And that's where he told me about the end of the world. 